get us a couple seconds again i'm not looking at the comments or anything like that i don't even know what i'm gonna say really well i know what i'm gonna start off saying you know i'm not one of those people who waits for everybody to get on because i got a big mouth and i got a lot to say um first thing i want to talk about is uh the my take for the pe this first part is for the people who have been here for about a couple years and are listening to the my takes and know that i'm for real about what i say and do and nobody is over here ruining bill cooper's legacy and all those stuff or trying to be like bill cooper i want you guys to know that the reason why like i'm taking a break from the channel with all the cooper work is because there's a lot of stuff uh going on uh in my area and and, and, I, and I, i'm pretty sure that's going on in your area so this is basically my new channel this is like my new thing what i do because i can't keep my focus on the cooper channel and all the cooper work because Cooper's work is unlimited, is, is unlimited. You know what I'm saying? There is no limit to the work that he put out. But if all of this stuff is going on out here, I gotta be, if there is no law and order, there is, you know, I gotta be, somebody gotta do something about it. And I don't do it just to ride around and run my mouth and make, and make it sound like I'm a big shot. I do it to encourage people, to encourage you, because I even heard some of you guys saying the cops in your area, we're acting like a lot of the cops in this area. I encourage you to go out, get a dash cam, get a back cam, and patrol them to make sure that they're doing their jobs. Because the average, every, God, why would you do that? Dumb bitch. Excuse my language, y'all. Bitch. Sorry again. Uh, I'm saying she was in the left lane. And then see me turning out. So you stayed in the left lane. But, uh, so, um, and I'm sorry for my language. I'm a real person. All right. I do construction. So sometimes you might hear an F on slip or you might have whatever, but that's because I'm me. So uh, what I want to encourage you all to do is to go out and do the same thing because these departments, apparently they don't care about it. either. They don't know. And all of their citizens aren't uh, going around and letting them know because they're a bunch of dodo birds like the ones around here and just, just assume that the cops are doing their job. Either that or they don't care. But if it's online, that's when they care. And I, and for those of you who said what you said about um, cops following you and doing the same thing doing around here, get a back cam, get a front cam, and record them and make a Facebook page. All of you guys go out and 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 it, and I, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I want a real change. I don't want no damn. I'm sick of this damn generic. Uh, give me a little slogan and give me a little this that and then something's gonna change i want a real damn change well i don't want to be here on this earth with these dumb uh excuse me with these silly people like the ones who don't understand the talks and everything but i mean i love y'all y'all know when i'm talking you don't get offended just like cooper said you don't get offended because you know this stuff and you actually listen to cooper and you know that i'm not trying to be like him this is just my personality and i can't help it that we both think people who run around talking about we live in a democracy and say the Pledge of Allegiance at the same time, which says, which states into the Republic for which we stand, or which it stands, I can't help it if I think somebody uh, is stupid for doing something like that. And it just so happened that Cooper thought the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But I also do this because, and, and the reason why I encourage you to do this because this is the only way they're gonna listen. You have a, a, a minor problem with these people, they honestly could give two S-H-I-T-S about your problem. No matter, it, 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 like if you go to uh, one of these stations, try to fill out a complaint about a cop, wouldn't you think that the other cop that's taking that, plank, that complaint, instead of uh, compiling questions and saying, oh, we don't have papers and doing all that, which a lot of these departments are doing, wouldn't a good cop uh, just, you know, um, act like um one of his partners wasn't doing his job and offended somebody he was supposed to be serving wouldn't you think that officer would act like that and, and, and show you some type of compassion and some type of respect for how that uh cop disrespected you and how he treated you and stuff you would think that but the majority of them today they don't care watch the movie gang and blue watch it 
and and again i'm not I, i'm not against all uh, law enforcement officers or i know there's law enforcement people or ex-law enforcement people here but they're real because they know that they wouldn't do this on their job first of all and they know why i'm doing this so they don't have no problem with it because they don't like corrupt the cops either but they're bringing in this new string of uh captain america uh um robocop that they're building and i ain't even gonna lie i honestly think that the departments know that these police do it and they don't even care and i went all the way to wilkesboro the other day which is four and a half hours from where i'm at and all up and down the highway they were doing the same thing tagging uh tracking cars that um uh, missing a headlight or a car that's not all fancy and you know it's got a little dirt and might have a dent on it they were going swinging past all the other cars and trying to get behind those cars not only that the sheriffs the sheriffs in a lot of these places seem to think they can just get on the road and just start speeding and that uh oh, me. i got to pull over something like that. Oh, I'm uh, but i had that anchor down i'm sorry don't fall out my window. You gotta give them a damn good excuse. I'm gonna pull over right here. That'll give them a damn good excuse that they want and need to pull my ass over. Or give me a ticket for littering. Sorry, something flew around. You know like a bag flies around. I apologize for that. But uh, not only that, they just think just because they're a cop, even when they're not going to no type of emergency or no type of uh, call or anything like that, they can just speed down the highway. So I'm watching the sheriff, he's speeding down the damn highway and I get right behind him because I'm trying to get home quick too. And then my friend was like, my friend was like, uh, or he was like, he's speeding and so and so and so. I said, so is he. He ain't got his lights on, he ain't going to no car. If he not, uh, if he can't get in trouble, why can I, why would I get in trouble for it? Because there are a lot of freaking corrupted cops around here. And all you cops that come to my Facebook page and you hear it or you see some stuff on YouTube who are corrupted, you know it's the truth. Why you want to sit around all day long being a sneaky little rat, I don't understand. Why you're not out here protecting people and you're out here harassing them, I will never understand. But I don't care if it's from here uh, to where I used to coach at in Raleigh or up to Myrtle Beach where I get my shows and stuff. I'm going up there every single place because I know every single one of you do it. And you can sit here and lie and act like you don't, like you're doing now, how you're not out in the open, you're not sitting up here on the media and acting like you're a badass and you're a tough guy, uh, and, and you own the highway and stuff like that. You can act like that now, but again, half a year's worth of footage does not lie. And because you wanted to so uh, mercilessly attack me every single day when you see me do driving down the street, I'm gonna mercilessly drive down the street and drive down the city and tell every, everybody what you do. Just like you people who drive around in those in God we trust cars, tend those so win uh, uh, windows so tenant, you really should get pulled over and get a ticket for that, because I would, or at least get pulled over and they would check it. You're out here with your little walkie talkie snitch. Well, you got citizen patrol patrolling the citizen snitch but you ain't got no citizen patrol on your damn corrupted ass cops and i done caught a lot a lot of them from the state trooper to the sheriff the unmarked police officers the leland pd every single one of them and i'm tired of it in new hanover county i saw you today too trying to create you you got the same thing you got unmarked police cars doing the same thing and the reason why i know is because i caught one trying to creep well first off i caught uh one in a, a regular police car trying to creep up on me and then he looked up saw the camera next thing i know i looked down looked back up his ass was gone but today i saw the uh unmarked car doing the same thing riding around checking tags and so on so on so who can he mess with single out and pick on today you better make sure your registration i mean you better make yeah you better make sure uh your inspection sticker is not one uh day out of date because uh this bootleg 007, especially most of them who live in uh, Brunswick County, they'll pull you over for it. And they know they'll do it. So, uh, for y'all who have been here, you understand this? Because it's going on in your area. I do have a Facebook page. I haven't, uh, but this is all the Facebook page is, is me doing this. For those of you who would want to come, and I don't just talk about the cops. I talk about everything that's going on in the world. Like, 
here's an example of today. People still believe in what they're told and uh, showing their hypocrisy and, and, and when it comes to so-called sanitation things, right? Let me tell you the funniest story of what happened at the BP today. Because I, some of y'all, I know y'all understand that this is making, this, this has something to do with the channel and with people uh, knowing the law and sticking up for rights. I know a lot of you guys are here too slow to understand that, but it does, but th that's what all of this is about. And if you don't want to hear it, I done told you many times where you can go, even though I didn't tell you where I really, where I really want to tell you where you can go, because that would just be too mean. Take your little sensitive bitch ass ears off my fucking channel, okay? Give a shit what you want to hear. Dumb ass, little sensitive crybaby bitch. Get the fuck off my channel. I'm sick of hearing your ass cry. That's all the fuck you do is cry. Don't do shit. Sit there and cry all day long. That's all the hell you do. Shut the hell up. Get off my damn channel. And all the other 15 channels that you're subscribed to too since you don't understand what the hell is going on. They're so dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for that, for my people. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that little outbreak. But they're so dumb. They don't want to be here, but they're still here. And then I give them the links to all the places so they don't even have to be here no more. And they still make up an excuse for why they somehow have to be here. Sick of their freaking asses. And I'm sorry about, I'm sorry about dropping them F-bombs like that, y'all. But I just want them to know that. And all you with this whole race thing, too, I want you to know that. Be gone. I literally think that you are the scum of the earth. I don't even look at you as a human being. So get off of this channel. You want to do that? Oh, well, you don't believe that the black race is, part, is partly the problem for every... No, dumbass. How many times I got to tell you that? So stupid. On a Bill Cooper channel saying this, y'all. On a Bill Cooper channel, sticking up for R-A-C-I-S-T. Now, ain't that funny? Ain't that funny? And then, again, living this fake life, thinking I give a shit if, about their subscription. Well, I give a shit if they don't uh they want to hear what I got what I got to say or not. On my damn channel trying to tell me what the hell to do. Sitting there like a little bitch all their lives. That's all they do. Sit there and just tell let everybody tell them what to do. And then get mad when somebody ain't gonna do it, or somebody gets mad and uh has to show people what the real law is because they're too stupid to know any type of law. They just repeat whatever the hell they're told. Think they gotta do shit that they don't. And call themselves a damn grown-up. So many freaking kids running around here. Call themselves a grown-up. They don't even know how to raise their own freaking uh, children. I mean, that's what I meant to say. I'm sorry saying kids. They don't even know how to raise their own children. Driving around uh, Leland, North Carolina or in, in, in any place. I know you got some of them in your area. Still dumb as hell thinking that everything has to be sanitary. Still that freaking stupid. So let me get back to my story. I'm in the BP today. Right. And I'm going to show you their hypocrisy with their uh, sanitation, uh, uh, with their employees and stuff. Me and my friend, right, we're in Wilmington and we're cleaning some kind of storm drain or uh, something like that. Um, we on a break, we go to uh, the BP, not this one up here. They got sense, but it's in Wilmington. And um, there's a there's two stacks of lids. Right. And the, my man go get a drink. Right. He touches the top lid of two stacks of lids the employee with his face mask below his face eating chips tells us to throw away both uh, 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 stacks of lids because it was unsanitary as he's sitting here eating chips with his face mask all the way down and then uh, rings up our food without washing his hands but he's worried about us touching a uh, lid how the hell else were we supposed to get the lid? Can anybody guess that? Were we supposed to put on some rubber gloves like the rest of these scaredy cats? I mean, what the hell? Yeah, let me put on a, a rubber glove to touch a lid. Freaking retarded people. All damn day. And then half of them went to college. Just about all of their dumbasses went to college. All of the, Just about all of their dumbasses got a freaking PH and something. PhD or whatever. Bachelors in this and bachelors in that. And they're so damn stupid. But you... Oh my God. And then trying to tell somebody else something. Then trying to tell their children something. Has the nerve to say he's, an, he's a parent. Or she's a parent.
Sorry, y'all. I'm back to cop watching. But I had to let that out. I sure did. And I really, and I got so much more. I got so much more to say, you guys. I'm not talking to you people who don't un look at them. Look at them right there. There goes bo there goes boyfriend too. Mm. Right there, running up and down the street, trying to see who they can catch. Off guard. Let's see who they can take advantage of. See who don't know the law. Let's go see who they messing with today, y'all. Gotta show the police how to be police officers. You gotta show the employee. You gotta show employees, which I hate taking stuff out on because their uh, managers and their business owners are just just stupid and tell them stupid stuff. But I can't let somebody telling them stupid stuff take away my rights here in America. In my in my America, I still I live a different type of America than a, a lot of so-called Americans do today, and I just can't let that shit fly. So tired of somebody telling me something that a doctor says, that a doctor said something when the doctor was wrong. So tired of somebody telling me something that a teacher said and the teacher was wrong. So tired of somebody telling me what a stupid nurse said and the nurse was wrong. And they're still around here believing it in this freaking fantasy land life they like to live. This Facebook reality, this Twitter life that they live, that they don't really live, that they want to put on Twitter inconvenience me I go, I, I'm inconveniencing myself now but anyway and then the so-called business owners are on the same thing he calls himself an American business owner but he lets the government come into his business and treat him like a little bitch and tell him what to do and tell him to tell his customers what to do because as an American business owner, he's not educated as an American citizen to know that the government has no right to do that, no matter how many mad how much magic they use, which is the art of illusion, if you have a brain. But I know most people don't. They think that real magic is, you know, disappear this, disappear that. I guess you can still consider that the art of illusion. He still has the nerve to call himself an American business owner. They still have the nerve to put American cookie and American mattress in their freaking title of their business as they deny somebody's rights running uh, uh, coming in there doing something that they that they are perfectly allowed to do something that's perfectly legal this idiot driving up walking down the freaking sidewalk in a face mask god what the freak by his damn self maybe his cell phone's got coronavirus on it people are retarded so sick of stupid people so sick of stupid people you guys i'm sorry but i'm so freaking sick of it. or a sensitive stupid bitch who's always got something to say even though they're ignorant don't know what they're talking about point don't make no damn sense but he still wants to say something because he's a spineless little maggot that don't got the nerve to do what i do that's why he that's why he cries about what i do because he's a bitch and he'll get treated like a bitch He'll let anybody treat him like a bitch because he is a bitch. A punk bitch is what he is. He calls himself a man. What kind of man lets a cop pull him over for any reason knowing he wasn't doing uh, nothing wrong? What kind of man mu make, muzzles himself involuntarily? What kind of man uh, is uh, believes that somebody has the right in America to force him to, take, to put something into his body and then actually turn around and call his punk ass a man. In Brunswick County, you could be clear as day. I'll just move to the next county. And you don't even know that I'm live now because it ain't on Facebook. But another reason, guys, why I don't really want to do uh, all of these live drives here is because I literally have to do this now for protection. Every single time I get in my car, I can't go anywhere without recording. So if I were to put all of these on the um, uh, channel, it, it, it would just be too much. Even though it's related to everything, just like the whole face mask thing was when I was trying to tell people the difference between a law and an idiot who is just uh, repeating a construction paper law and somebody put the damn uh, uh, store door and told them was true. Like some of you idiots still believe that uh, the president has some kind of right to sign something and then we all gotta do it because you're that stupid. You go around trying to tell somebody something's a law when it's not. You go and you go around calling yourself American and you stick up for cops. You go around calling yourself a parent, but you let your 
children. Uh, you tell you tell your children to implore to applaud law enforcement right or wrong. And then in the same breath, turn around and talk about respecting the rights and the veterans and what they died and fought for. They died and fought for the rights for no police officers and all that stuff to come take advantage of us and all the stuff that you just want to give away. Mommy, daddy, I got sick. <laughs> My tummy hurt. Hot chill. I feel uncomfortable that he doesn't wear the same thing that I wear. He's not in my gang. You know, it is literally illegal to uh, conceal your identity in public. I'm such a smart American. I'm going to do it anyway and convince somebody else to break the law. Because in this case, there's a stipulation. There's a stipulation, guys. <laughs> Oh, I'm ready to leave this rock. I can't be surrounded by these idiots anymore, y'all. I can't do it. I just cannot do it. Just a bunch of sensitive bitches. Hurt his feelings. Then he's so stupid, he knows I don't care. He's still here every time he... Because he thinks I care about subscriptions or subscribers or people. I don't give a damn about anything but good-hearted people and people who understand what's going on and understand that this whole whom did a lot illusion that you guys live in thing is gonna wake somebody up doesn't work that's what I want here as soon as your ass leaves I get 30 more soldiers ready to take your place and ready to hear some real shit you know to any other YouTube channel you want I don't know too many people but I know I'm a real ass mother oh, excuse me I'm a real person <laughs> try to be nice and I keep it that way you know, all the other channels you want and leave and get mad what I said, you know, he's ruining Bill Cooper's legacy because you listen to 30 minutes of Bill Cooper speak. You know, all that all you want. Ain't gonna matter. Ain't gonna make no damn difference to me. All I'm gonna do is just do 20 times more what your dumb ass is crying about. And then your friends too. I'm gonna just tell them, hey, you got something to cry about? As soon as they tell me, I'm gonna do exactly what they cried about. I'm like, we don't want me to do what? And I'm gonna make sure I hear it nice and clear so I can overdo what they don't want me to do. Maybe that will teach them that nobody cares what they want. <laughs> oh, I told them to get together. I mean, shoot, I'm one person. They can all they can all get together, right? And then start start their own Facebook pages and YouTube channels, and all of a sudden, and expose me for the liar and hypocrite and all those stuff that I am. For some reason, they don't do it. It's been going on what six, seven years. They can't. They don't do it, guys. They don't do it. I wonder why. Cause their dumb asses can't do it. They wish they could and they wish they could shut me up. But I'm gonna tell you this, I'm so done with this world. Only thing to shut me up, somebody come and kill me and get me away from these stupid people. Please do it, get me away from these people. Don't even wanna hear them freaking speak. I can't even stand hearing people speak anymore, you guys, because they just go so off into La La Sheepleville land. I don't even wanna hear them speak anymore. Like, I feel like they, even though it's right for everybody should have an opinion, I feel like when you're that stupid and you're that ignorant, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I feel like you don't even deserve the right to even open your mouth. But there are certain people in the world who feel like that's everybody should have their opinion right or wrong and so and so and so. And I, and I feel like they should have their opinion, but not coming here trying to tell everybody that it's a fact. And that's what they don't understand. They think that I care about their opinion. No, I hide your little opinion when you say, oh, this is a fact. Like somebody tried to come here the other day and say something was a fact with no facts. So I hate his opinion because that's what it is without no without no proof. But in his mind, just because he said it's a fact, it's a fact. You can't stand people like that. Oh, damn, they got the police right there. Damn, I should have stayed right there. I didn't see him until I didn't see him until we were, yo, we would have followed his ass for a long time. See what? Just, I was wanting to go see his route. I didn't even see him until I turned. I was like, you know, it's a police officer. I know he know, I know he saw me. But anyway, all you guys want to change, don't talk about it, be about it. Show them, shut them up. You know, when people be like, oh yeah, well this is true because blah, 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 blah. Just their stupid ass opinion. Go out and show them everything that they claim was true so you can make them look like an idiot in front of the world. 
And watch how stupid they look, still repeating to their children and still telling people stupid stuff that's not true as you're sitting there showing them on every social media outlet that they live for, that they live their fake lives for. What are they gonna do then? Nothing. But look like the idiots they are for believing stuff just because somebody told them. Because somebody they think is smarter than them told them. Show them. And they'd be like, shut the hell up. I thought I couldn't do this. You see, I showed these cowboys out here who are always up here driving around their packs two uh, sheriffs, unmarked police car, uh, sitting in the middle of the media and some junk that I would get arrested for. I go there and park and sit there and watch them because he's creeping on somebody else. He's going to get another suspected uh, victim in as well and he's going to spin a web of lies to write them a And all you uh, sheeple on here who don't understand that, you don't belong here in the first place. You don't even belong in this country, but you're here. Let's see what these cowboys are over here today, messing with somebody. Probably picking on an old lady with a busted car. I can't stand coward ass cops. I really can't. I can't stand when people say that they're serving and protecting and they're literally, while there could be anything in the world going on, they're literally going around looking at people to pull them over from small stuff. Because there's nothing to do in this city. Because uh, Leland is like the, I think, 11th or 10th safest city in the uh, state. That's what it, that's what I read anyway. And well, I'm not saying it's 100% true. So I'm guessing if it is, then that's why they have to go around and create criminals, I guess. And then all the stupid people will just support them because they don't know the law. They think that if anybody wears a badge, he knows the law. They think that if somebody calls himself a lawyer, that means they know more law than you do. Oh, if that's the case, then how come when I uh, put City Barbecue on blast and their lawyer sent me a letter telling me to take down my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. Why did I uh, take a screen? Why did I take a picture of her letter, put it on her Facebook page, and then uh, read it on my YouTube channel? Because she's a dumbass lawyer. Her title don't mean nothing. Just like these rich, uh, there's one thing I was trying to say about this city too. There are these, like a couple of rich uh, stuck up people who got these like Jesus save signs in their front yard. And they're just like, they're like real, real big hypocrites. They just look down their nose at people and stuff like that. And they don't like now that I'm going around and telling everybody that they do it because they had so much fun when their little criminal friends were running out here trying to make innocent, uh, trying to turn innocent people into criminals because they ain't had nothing to do. Because their job is boring and they just sit around and drive around like this all day. That's all they do. Sit around messing with people. Sit around seeing whose uh, car is out of date. Sit around seeing who going, going one or two miles over the speed limit so he can pull his ass over. Waiting in the woods, hiding like a coward so you can go speed by. But I'm wrong because I talk about that and go out and record them on their job. And I'm sorry, y'all. I had a point that I was getting to earlier, but this is how I relieve my stress and let them know and let everybody know. Because I ain't been had too much time to talk on the channel because this is what I've been doing. And I've been doing all my talking here. But I want you guys to know, too, also, this frustration is not... Oh, it's not a bad thing at all. I don't think I, I think I needed this frustration because there have been no other way for me to uh, scare these people. Not really necessarily scare like they do going around picking on people, but let them know because nobody else would have did it. They would have never changed up. They'd still be sitting around here. I ride, I'm riding their routes and why I see them at park and not doing nothing except for trying to come follow me. But yeah, go online, show these people, show all these hypocrites. That they don't really live that uh, Facebook life. They ain't about that life. <laughs> Just a bunch of fakes. If you got a problem with that, y'all, people thinking, you know, people getting mad at you because you call people fake and you be real. I mean, I, I, I don't know why y'all got a, I, I don't know why you guys have such a, a self-censor or self-filter and you don't want to say certain things when you know they're true. And you know, deep down in your heart, just about everybody else knows the truth, but they don't want to say it. But you need to say that. All the stuff you guys tell me and stuff when we talk and stuff like that, you could go out in your neighborhood talking just like this and observe it and going, if they're doing that stupid stuff at the um, uh, thing telling you you have to wear something and telling you something's a law because they're really that ignorant of law. 
but they still want to open their mouth about law, show them. Show them they don't know shit and show them how stupid they look for still repeating it, still doing what they're told. They don't care. They're scared of fake authority, y'all. That's what it is. They're scared of stupid people with titles who think that their titles make them smart and entitle them to do whatever they want or their power or whatever. And this is going on all around the world, not here, not just here. And we're the only ones that's going to change it. I don't know who y'all looking for, some president or somebody else to stand up and say it and do it. It ain't going to happen. You are the one that's going to make it happen. I don't care who I piss off. I don't care who wants to get mad. I don't care if somebody want to kill my ass because I don't want to be here no more with this stupid shit going on. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I am a little crazy. But I don't want to, I, I, I really don't. Who wants to live in a, in, a, in a pointless existence with a bunch of stupid people that you can't uh, even reach? You know, a bunch of little sensitive bitches who are mad at the truth. Who wants to live in a world like that? Can't express yourself, can't say something. Shit. I'll be damned. Like I'm in Walmart, a lady trying to check my damn tag and stuff. Good thing I, I'm happy that my boss's son is not an idiot either. And he's like, we got, you know, we both were like, we don't have to show that. And it just amazes me that people will just do it just because she's standing there. And on the way out, I just saw all those people handing them and I told them, I said, man, people just do stuff with all them around me. Let them see. Because they think that they're being a good little parent by doing that, showing their children and so on, so on, so But they're showing their children that they don't know nothing about their rights. They're showing their children that somebody can make them just walk up to them and tell them that they have to do something that they don't. Oh, no, we're just following the rules, being a good little so on, so on, so on. Those aren't the rules because it's not a law and you don't have to show something to somebody standing at the door after you just paid three or four hundred freaking dollars in Walmart. She just saw you pay for it at the damn scan and go. That's what I mean by stupid stuff and stupid people thinking that they're doing good stuff and they just, is they're doing stupid stuff. And the stuff that they're doing is actually setting them back and they're thinking that it's, pull, it's pushing things forward, <laughs> getting things better, you know, going to help us get back to normal. How are you going to help us get back to normal when you're doing a bunch of stupid shit? It don't make no sense and don't have no common sense involved in it, idiot. That don't make no sense. How are you going to get forward if you're walking five steps backwards? The hell are you talking about? What the hell? I feel like Truman. When Truman, uh, when Truman flipped on his wife and was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I like, uh, you see that movie was true, right? True man. Because that's really the true man life that we live. But you know, woman, man, all the same thing, whatever. Fake generic life. You see how he snapped? That was reality. That was Truman waking up to the bullshit, no, no, no common sense reality that he lives in. The generic uh, Hallmark TV uh, reality that he lives in, which is uh, really just a fancy design that is really, a lot of these people don't know, it is the Luciferian philosophy, uh, philosophy wrapped up in um, niceness and goodness and so, so, so. These people don't even understand that they're actually serving, uh, serving the ways of Lucifer by doing these things that look magical and seem Hallmark. They're not smart enough to understand that. Just like they don't understand all these electronic stuff, all this electronic stuff is hooking them up to this whole digital currency and all this other crap. And they want to get mad at it when you say, it. oh, no, ain't just a conspiracy theorist talking about the new world order. No, idiot. It can be proven and it has been proven. So cryptocurrency ain't a thing. No, it's just a conspiracy theory. That's what an idiot will tell you. That because you can prove something, it's a conspiracy theory to his dumb ass. Because you can prove it. It's a conspiracy theory. They don't care. Look at the phones now. They're taking away uh, the wires and stuff because they want to get us all hooked up into this whole virtual reality system that they can control a whole lot better. But all of these dumbasses out here, I'm sorry, y'all, think that it is just peachy keen. It's all for them. They get updates every month because they want to, uh, because the government wants them to have faster internet. Don't want it, it. No, it's not an upgrade every month to help better their facial recognition, to help better all that stuff to uh, connect you into their little digital wireless. Now you're a robot uh, hooked to a wireless computer. It ain't got nothing to do with that, jackass. It has to do with giving you fast internet, making sure you can talk to your loved ones. <laughs> and while you're in one country and they're in another one, 
Making sure you can find your lost dog. That's what the trackers were for, right? The stuff people believe, y'all, makes me want to throw up in my mouth. And then repeat it, no matter how dumb it sounds, and see it. Throw one of these cowboys right here. What's up, cowboy? And uh, they just repeat it. It don't make no damn sense. Like how I saw a so-called H-E-A-L-T-H uh, -E professional talking about you'll never know when you have, or she was like, she, they were doing a commercial on an ad on YouTube ad. She was like, you know when you got CV, so and so and so and so. But what was it, yesterday or the day before that? The uh, H-E-A-L-T-H experts were telling you that you wouldn't know and that's why you had to because you might not know. But see, this per uh, uh, a stupid person would hear that and then the next day hear something totally different that goes against that and makes that look like what they just said don't make no sense and he'll still believe it. Double think, double speak, double stupid. Double just make whatever the hell anybody tells me makes sense. Because that's smart. Do what whatever anybody tells me to do because I'm a free American and I'm a man. Yeah. I'm a man, bro. Chug my beers, bro. I'm so patriotic, bro. All I gotta do, bro, is just tell everybody that I'm a patriot, bro. And then fly my flag, bro. And then the best way to be a patriot, dudes, I mean, bros, is to have a beer drinking contest, bro, on 4th of July, bro, and if you, uh, smash, all you gotta do, bro, is take a Bud Light can, bro, and you wanna prove if you're a real patriot, bro, all you gotta do is smash it on your head, bro, and then whoever smashes it the flattest, bro, is a patriot for a year, yeah, bro, let me see my homeboy out here, I don't see him, but then we can invite some cute girls, bro, that's what the dumbasses in Leland, North Carolina think is patriotic. We can play a life size, uh, uh, we can play some beer pong, bro. And shoot off some fireworks, bro, to make us patriots. Yeah, bro! Jackass. And then he'll see me doing something like this and he'll be like, Why are you always messing with the cops, bro? They're just doing their job, bro. That's how stupid he is. Go drink a beer, go drink another beer and shut your dumb ass up. You, you, hey. You fly the American flag down for this idiot, he'd be like, why are you flying the flag upside down, bro? That's disrespectful to the flag, bro. Because he wants to be fake. He don't know his country is in distress, so he's still going up there. He's still driving down the damn highway flying his flag right side up, even though right now it, should, it, it belongs upside down. Because we're a country in distress with a bunch of stupid people running around here. Still believing stupid shit. And doing stupid shit. And then expecting me to do the stupid shit. And looking at me like I'm stupid because I don't do it. And know that I don't have to do it. And every idiot who just got offended by that, I hope you take I I, I hope you know that that's exactly how I feel about your dumb ass. I'm trying to tell somebody what to do, I'm trying to tell somebody a law, and you're so stupid you don't know a damn thing. What law? Cite it. What is citing? What does citing mean? Look at him over there, thinking he hiding, coming out of the bank with his look like illegally tent windows. Now he's trying to be in stealth mode because you know I'm running around uh, recording this behind and I don't even care. Okay, how many people in Leland, North Carolina want to get uh, mad about it? Because they weren't getting followed around for six months. And some people are like, they don't understand the frustration when I do stuff like this. And I say, well, you get followed around by the police for six months and have it all on camera. And then you, and then, <laughs> Go around through your city with a bunch of idiots who will just sit here and let people get pulled over illegally and not say nothing and understand the frustration. And then, th and then think they're doing good. I'm in the BP again, right? I'm in, I'm in this, this is the same trail. This is, again, their, how their uh, sanit sanitary processes and their, their just the, how shit don't make no sense, right? The same guy who made us throw away the lids, I went to get a jug. Of, I mean, I got a little mini cooler, like a handheld cooler, not like a big old box. I um, always put ice in it, and everywhere I go, it's free. So um, I put, I was putting it in there, and I just figured it was free because we were buying a whole bunch of stuff. 
and he just he made sure he looked at me like I was gonna steal some soda or something too, which I could understand that because of the area that we were in. But um, when then we get there, he's like, yeah, yeah, he got some ice too, right? Because uh, I left my card here, so I had to let my son's boss pay for it. And I was gonna cash out, and then I, we were like both like, yeah, we're like, dad, we thought he was free or whatever. But we didn't really care too much. He was like, no, nah, no, nah, they gotta pay for that. Okay, yeah, they gotta pay for those two stacks of lids too. Uh, that you just made throw away and they're m way more anal about a whole stack of lids I know because I used to work for those type these type of uh, not a, I never worked for a gas station But I work for I know how they are about their lids and stuff They're way more anal about you throwing away lids than they are about a little cool of ice That's what I'm saying how they just be telling people stuff don't make no sense and people follow it and it makes sense Yeah, they got to pay for that ice bro. He looking that hard just to make sure that we pay for eyes even though we don't spent 30 something dollars in there and but then he throws away two stacks of lids because he touched the top lid to grab it because he had to touch it to get the lid to put it on his damn cup how did this guy expect him to get the lid that's what i want to know i really want to know I'm, I'm confused right now i'll probably be confused about this for the rest of my life what the hell how the hell did he expect for this dude to get a lid onto his cup that he just purchased, other than grabbing. I know, I expect you to be like all of you dumbasses who actually still wear rubber gloves. In your own car, in a mask, in your own car, by yourself, with your windows up, a sandy bucket to go right here at your, on your dash because somebody told you that was the best way to keep yourself safe. Even though hand sanitizer has been linked to C-A-N-C-E-R, but you're so freaking smart, you'll throw it all over your face. You'll probably fill up your bathtub and uh, uh, freaking soak in that junk like it's a hot tub. But it's safe for you. Hey, safety first, right? Put something on to sanitize and clean yourself that's been linked to C-A-N-C-E-R. That's how smart you are, mommy, daddy. Go to the doctor and ask them how to raise your child even if they don't look sick because you can't do it because you're too stupid as a parent to know how. Ain't that right, mommy, daddy? My mommy and daddy is a doc. My mommy's a doctor and she tells me everything that's true about your health. Not if she's saying what the hell the government telling her to say she ain't. Good God, how do you people think like when 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 nobody tells you what to think? What do you think? Like, how do you think? Does it like do you do you just have a blank? Do you just have like a blank mind? You know how you wake up when you're asleep and all you remember is waking up? I feel like people who just sit here and believe all this bull crap and just keep on repeating it. I feel like if nobody tells them what to believe. That's uh, the mode that they. That's the mode that their mind is set in while they're just going through the day like a zombie. They're just like just a blank, not even a single thought in their head, doing stuff that don't make no damn sense, and making it make sense somehow. Ah, 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 what? How do you people think? Can you spell think? Do you know what thinking means? What about reading? What about research? What about going to the WHO website and reading their documents? What about looking at the Kerry Mulez interview who made the PCR that you uh, test that you're taking? Who tried to tell you that it don't tell you what you're, what you're, what the people on the TV telling you that it tells you? Even though he made it, you'll take it, right? But you won't listen to his advice of what it actually is used to test for. Who's Kerry Mulez? How the hell do you not know who Kerry Mulez is, but you know what a PCR test is, idiot? That's, I'm trying to... He doesn't know. He, she, mom, dad, whoever, knows what the PCR test is, guys, but they don't know who Kerry Mulez is. The guy who, the, I mean, maybe somebody else would have figured it out, but the, he's the one who made it. I'll link the interview in this description box because I'm about to go home because I'm just riding the same route because I don't know where to go. I'll ride another route. I'll come over here. Uh, I got a hybrid in my car. I just changed it, so I fixed it. about riding to Myrtle Beach, y'all, and going looking at their cops.
I'm, I'm so damn serious. Until every cop in America knows that somebody is out here watching them. And they'll never know where that person is going to be. I'm going to make a world, I don't know if I have to make a Facebook page called uh, The Police Watching the Police in America. But to all you tough cops, who do the things I do, who do the do things that I say that you do, and you know you do. And I know you're listening to this, some of you uh, from uh, Brunswick County, North Carolina. All you gotta do is stop uh, hiding in the woods and waiting for somebody to speed by just so you can go out and pull them. You can use that time going around and observing the area and trying to uh, see, make sure every, you know, in, in the dangerous areas, you know, because you're such a moral person, you know where those are. And, and you know, go scout that out. Instead of sitting behind a laundromat, 30 minutes waiting for me to do my laundry so you can get out and get me until you see my camera you could be driving around that whole area with all those people running around seeing who's doing something else wrong instead of driving around in an unmarked police car making traffic stops even though you are not supposed to be doing that maybe you should stop and do what is in a unmarked uh, officer's job even if you're a traffic cop Maybe you should stop using your little technology as you're sitting in the Hardy's parking lot, not doing nothing, waiting for somebody to drive by who your little technology can pick up on and then go chase them and get behind them, of course, until you see a damn camera. That's when you want to do your job. Maybe you should just not do the things that you're not supposed to do. What's this part? No, let's not go there. Let's go see if rent is still sitting in the uh, place where the speed limit sign changes just to catch you going one mile over, guys. Let's go see if he's there. And I'll look at these comments later. If somebody's tripping, you can either get on them or whatever. It really don't even matter. We got people here. Like, I try to, when I respond to comments, I try to do it in the whole. Like, when I talk about the whole RACE thing the other day. But you have small-minded people that they think that I was talking about one person's comment. That's what I mean by people come here who don't know nothing. They'll hear you say something and think that thing you said is about one person's comment because they don't understand that it was that comment that fuels something that you believe everybody could benefit from from hearing in the human race that's how stupid they are they think i'm responding to one little comment this one little person they don't understand when i'm addressing that i'm addressing all of the idiots who honestly think that this is still a race thing still think that one race is somehow uh possible for everything that's going on in america or the world or the Jews are responsible for everything. Yeah, let's talk about that while we're free driving. All y'all spread that bull crap too about the J-E-W-S. Let me censor myself on that one because you never know. You know, you know, Jews this, all that, and all that stuff. Let me tell you something. Whatever group you're in, there is a member of the mystery schools who claims to be in your group too, who is helping all of this alone, jackass. They have a representative in every single group, in every single religion, in every single race, around the world, idiot. That's what you don't know. Oh, but the majority of them are Jews and so, so, so. I, like, I mean, this is stupid people. And you guys wanna know again why people say that? Because that whole J-E-W-S thing is the Jews, it's the Jews. That's a popular uh, myth that has been spread again in America. And then all the people who uh, were really R-E-C-I-S-T in the, in the first place, they went. they couldn't wait to go around and repeat that. And then it was, it's just another common myth that people go around and repeat. They think it makes them cool. And then they all mad about it when you try to say, um, no, that's not how the mystery schools work. And if you knew, and if you listen to, why are you, again, on the Cooper channel, if you don't know that? He stressed that how many times? And explain what I just explained. But they don't know that, but they're here. Trying to argue that it's just the J-E-W-S. Trying to be like everybody else, stupid. To be as stupid as everybody else, basically. They like being a job. They like uh, repeating stuff. They like calling themselves Democrats and Republicans just because somebody in their family is a Democrat Republican, even though they don't know what the hell a Democrat Republican is to say their life. If you ask them the definition or what it is, they could, like, again, Cooper said, even though it ain't me stealing this stuff, it's really how I feel and think. They wouldn't know what to tell you to save their own damn lives, but they're a Democrat and a Republican. Even my sister, she does that. Oh, I'm a Democrat. She don't know what the hell a Democrat is. Even my parents, I'm sorry, I love them to death. But they're fed, they fed up into this 
uh, Trump is doing something thing or whoever else is doing something thing. I was like, bro, I try to tell, like, and I can't tell nobody this for y'all, you know. And that's why I know, that's why I say I love y'all who are here because you say the same things, you feel the same things, you're going through the same things with your family, and you don't have nowhere to talk about it, you don't have nowhere to vent about it, you think somebody needs, you know, hear it, well, they gonna hear it here if they come here. Watch him. Hold up. Let's pull in here. I don't even know what's in here. Let's see if he's sitting here. Watch his ass. Look at him. Make sure you go that one mile over the speed limit. Is this the police station? Can I get around here and turn around? Yeah, go out there and hang your left at the dumpster and go out. It'll take you town hall drive. Appreciate it. Okay. This is the police department. <laughs> yep, I thought so. And these are the uh, tinted windows cars that I was telling y'all about. The all I don't, I don't see the all tenant one, but there's an all tenant. Um, I did not even know that was the police station. I never even knew where the police station was. But um, I'm gonna go this way. I don't know what way he said, but I'm gonna go this way. Uh those are the dudes that i just passed right there that y'all saw in the front those are usually the two cowboys i bet one of them that are in that car is the one who gave me a ticket about uh six months ago oh yeah but some of those cars that are in there they go around and uh well they don't do it now because I, I called them out on the facebook page uh they go they, they go around snitching on people for the police Well, guess what? They don't like that I'm a snitch. <laughs> I'm snitching on the police now. Look at that. Look at that. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, it makes them mad because people want to be able to take advantage of you and you not be able to talk about it. And then they want to be able to tell everybody else that they have the right to do that and that they're allowed to do that and that it's perfectly legal when it's uh, easy as hell. That's why I'm so glad instead of letting somebody talk about the law, I went and actually got law books and actually went and listened to Cooper. <laughs> Basically, if it wasn't him, I wouldn't know anything about looking into the law and not being intimidated by uh, cops and not being intimidated by unmarked police cars and not being intimidated. If I would have never listened, well, I don't know, because I kind of already had an attitude, kind of already was like this before I even heard of Cooper, just always uh, hard in my ways and I always talk like this so that's why some people think that I'm talking like cool it's just the way that I always been so I don't have a lot of friends um I feel so much better now riding through there but uh shit I forgot what I was talking about I was thinking about something else but I feel better that I got a lot of that stuff off my chest and, and when I forget something some point that I was getting at I don't even care anymore and try to think about it so much because I'm gonna say it again in the next live. So like when I get on Facebook, so that's why I sometimes I'll be getting at a real good point and I just say forget it. Cause I know I'm gonna end up saying it again anyway. So I might as well just not even try to waste time trying to think about what the hell I was gonna say. So many thoughts running through my head at one time. Oh yeah, it wasn't. I was talking about uh, it wasn't um, for him though. I don't think that I would have known as much i I, think I would have i think i just would have been hard-headed he probably ended up getting in trouble with what i'm like with what i'm doing now i think i would have did it i would have went about it the wrong way but listening to uh cooper made me think about uh made me uh well that and my tumbling coach used to tell me about documenting everything uh before i heard of cooper he, he always used to tell me that he, he said every time something goes on with people at your job or anything like that he said always he said his lawyer told him to always document it and all this is before i started really getting into cooper's work so uh and that's how i ended up getting no getting uh a lot of companies to hear what i was saying because i was documenting it and put it on facebook and stuff but i don't think i would have looked into the law as much if um and known that I that I had what I have the right to do and what I don't have the right to do if it wasn't for him like like telling me that that was the most important part because they try to change law now too and he was telling about how to use all the isms and this ism and that ism He's, he said that that's how they use to confuse people they use language to confuse people that's what all those isms are about and stuff 
And he was, I remember him used to say stuff like ism. He was trying to say some kind of ism word. And he was just like, man, forget it. And he said what he, what it basically was without using the ism. And he was very specific about how they do that. They do this wordplay to make it seem like they have the right to do something that they don't. Or that it, they use wordplay like mandates to make it seem like uh, something has to be followed by law, uh, law or you'll have a consequence even though you won't. And if they try to enforce that on you, only people, if you follow the law, who will have a consequence is them. And you got a backbone to take their ass to court. But most people don't. Most people don't have the backbone or the voice to take a whole corporation to court or uh, to, you know, worry about them taking them to court. But again, if you document it and you're on social media, that's the only way they're going to pay attention. That's the only way they know that they can't touch you because then they're only going out of their way to touch you because of your social media, because of what you expose about them. And that's why nobody in this city, even though I drive around running my mouth like this and they all know about my Facebook page and they all look at me, used to look down their noses at me, can say nothing now but look at me with a stank face. Because they went around being little parrots trying to tell people what the hell to do, trying to tell people things that they had to do when they didn't. I mean, ain't that crazy that I had to go around and uh, record my shopping experiences because people who have slogans talking about ba da ba ba ba, you know, we love to see you smile and all that other crap, didn't even want to see my smile. <laughs> didn't even want me to come in there smiling because I might kill them. I was a walking disease if I smiled to them then. But go look at their commercial. Ba da 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 da. So I'm sorry, I know a lot of you people who worked at some of these Walmarts and these uh, uh, companies thought that I was taking down on you. If you see these videos, it really ain't got nothing to do with you and I'm sorry that you got caught up in the mix. And same thing with the, you know, if you're a good cop, I'm sorry that this happened. But if I didn't do this and show it, they were never going to stop. They were going to keep running around, picking on people, waiting under this bridge right here for 30 minutes. Or rating right up here at the uh, corner. Well, I guess I understand now why that cop was there at the thing. Because that was a police station. I didn't even know that. Or that's where they all go. I, I honestly did not know that. I drive that job every day. Or something where they go congregate. If you're sitting right here. Unmarked police car. I had to drive by, past one the other day. You'll see it on the live. I had to drive past him. While he was sitting in the median. I'm, I'm, I'm about to end this y'all. I'm going towards home. I done calmed down. I love it. Say the truth. I'm be honest with y'all because I love y'all. I'm about to smoke, calm my nerves, get some darn uh, water in my system, any, any type of hike, some, some cool ice, something, and chill. But yeah, I had to drive past him. He's sitting in the middle of the median. Like he owned the, like he owned the highway for, uh, I drove past him one, two, three, I think four times. And the fourth time I said, forget it. I'm just gonna go in the parking lot and sit there and wait there and see how long he gonna be there. And I waited in the parking lot and, and well, I, I, I pulled into the parking lot, got it, went up and set his license plate number and stuff so they can know who it was. And then um, went into the parking lot to go see if he was there. And then as soon as he saw, I guess that's finally when he realized that I was in a different car this, uh, that time. If he would have saw me right away, he would have just left. But I was in a different car, so he didn't know. And then finally, I guess he realized that I was doing like he do and hovering around him, <laughs> trying to see what he was doing. So he pulled off. Which, if he wasn't doing nothing wrong, he should have just sit there. He should just uh, sat there like he usually does to the end of the shift, or until at least until somebody comes by with that uh, 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 insurance. You know, they're, they're they're renewing their insurance, so they're in a lapse right now or whatever. Or he ain't got, or he's, again, one, <laughs> his inspection sticker one day out of the, that's serious business here. Shoot. Riding down a uh, street like that, you might end up hurting somebody, seriously. I know they hate my ass. <laughs>
but that's what the hell they do to me. Oh, fake and sh stuff. Sorry, I'm gonna try to. I, since I feel better, and I don't feel as heated. That's what they would do to me. I buy right with me, and with a fake smile, waving me, turn right around and pull me over for no reason at all. Just because they can't, they think they can. Wondering why I'm driving, why I drive and roll my eyes at them because I ain't got no damn respect for them. I see you doing stuff in my community that uh, garners some res respect, then I'll give it to you. Sitting here driving around like you're Batman, your car is a stealth, and I'm just just the dumbest person in the world. I'm just gonna let you stop, give me a ticket. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hey, you want me to bend over further? You know, I used to be a gymnast. I could touch my ankles, bro. I'm trying to tell you, that's what the dudes, that's what people here do who don't understand the law and don't understand when a police officer is in the wrong. They'll get mad and be like, they'll see this and be like, bro, all you were supposed to do, bro, was just bend over some more, bro. If you would have had some petroleum jelly, bro, he would have been quicker, bro. When I go record him sitting on the median, Knowing he ain't supposed to be there, idiot in this town would be like, bro, that 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 part of the median is so wide, bro, because they want cops to sit there and monitor people when they drive by, bro. Come on, bro. Why are you why are you every cop is not bad, bro? I don't know if I told y'all this when I was in a circle K the other day, some idiot said that while he was talking to a cop who just got done following me when he was not supposed to be following me and then went in the store right after me because he had to make it seem like he had an excuse to be going the same way I was going. He goes in the store and buys a pack of cigarettes. And there's this, uh, some, some stupid hillbilly guy in there like, yeah, bro. And I, I, think, I, I think he was kind of talking to me because when you're, because uh, I had already been live a whole bunch of times and when you look in like the screen, you can see the person behind you. And uh, I, uh, he kept looking at me while he was saying it. He wasn't giving me no uh, bad, he wasn't giving me no evil looks or anything, but the cop was at, he, like, I was at one register and the cop was literally shoulder to shoulder to me. And uh, he was sitting there, I guess like, him and the cop were friends. So he was sitting there saying how he had had an encounter with some guy who was always running his mouth about how bad the cops were. And he was like, yeah, bro, man, I don't even know, bro. I mean, I was like, why are you always complaining, bro? They're not all like that, bro. And his dumb ass is sitting here talking to a cop who was just uh, sitting in a median and then try to come pull me over and make a uh, traffic stop when, when, when that's not his job. That's what I mean by sheep, sheep are so stupid that they're, they're gonna do whatever the hell they're do or they're told to do just because somebody told them or just because they think somebody has uh, the power to do something that they don't. Because they're too lazy, they will rather get somebody's foot or finger or whatever shab all the way up their ass than because they're too lazy to go see if that person was allowed to stick his finger or his foot all the way up their ass. With so much, with no, with uh, not even a damn drink or a night out or anything, just stuck his hand right up your ass. You're such a little pansy, you let him do it. Mad at me because I won't. And your sensitive little ears don't want to hear that I, because I tell you why I won't. Because I'm a man, you wouldn't understand that. Only men would understand that, little boy. You wouldn't do nothing like this because you're a coward. That's why you don't understand anything I do. That's why you look at something small when I say something instead of seeing the big picture. Well, that's because you're an idiot. The other one is because you're a coward. And you want me to live in the same sheeple, coward mind state as you. But I'll be dead if that's ever going to happen. Let's see if he's sitting up here today. And the other day I would have waved at him, able to wave back. I don't know why he didn't wave back this time. I'm sitting right here. Y'all see this BD and how big it is? Let's see. I'm about to do what he did. Like, I'll be down. I'm going to tell y'all the truth, though. I actually, when I was trying to get him, I broke the law trying to get him. And I didn't even notice it. And I know he did. But this was a regular uh, Leland police officer. I I was so mad that he was just sitting there because it's different when an unmarked car is because, you know, a dumbass would think, you know, maybe it's different because he's unmarked. What is even double like? 
Well, oh, darn. Traffic cop just up on the curb like that? And I was so mad. I know you're not supposed to make a U-turn here. You see that sign? I didn't know. So I made a U-turn. He saw me. <laughs> so as soon as I made it, he's, I, he starts getting off the curve. But um, he um, waited. Then he waited for me to pass. And then he jumped off the curve and kept driving because he noticed the cameras and stuff. But he was jumping off the curve to come get me. He actually had a le legitimate reason, but he probably didn't because if he would have pulled me over, well, first of all, if you saw the camera, he knew who the hell it was in the car because it's the same car. I'm pretty sure they done told each other. But if he would have pulled me over, he would have known that I had evidence of him sitting up there on the curb and, and uh, doing something illegal as he comes. This is what they do sometimes, too. They'll, be, they'll sit over here because they got a little uh, monitor or whatever. They'll know that I'm going in there. And then they'll come sit somewhere over here. Or if not here, they'll just take a ride around the block. Almost as if they're tracking me, like they can see my car in the parking lot, still parked. And then they, I don't know what they do, if they turn around or whatever they do, but they do some little trick, right? Where they, where they just so happen to be on patrol at the same time you're pulling out of somewhere and they end up right behind you. So basically they come and they hide, basically. Like in a spot like this and then they'll, they'll watch their computer screen seeing your car if it's out of date or whatever it is you ain't got no insurance and you know drive and then they'll wait they'll they'll pinpoint how to track you or whatever hold on we got this little man on a, a moped i'm mean, gonna this little dirt bike let him do his thing he having fun or she whatever it is but uh they'll wait and then end up they'll, they'll they can see because of whatever their technology is they might wait here in this little cut right here and then they'll end up right when i'm pulling out here just so happened to be right here right on time ain't that funny isn't that funny or i'll go in the gas station y'all and they won't be in this parking lot and then as soon as i get out they'll be here waiting just parked conveniently backed up over here waiting for me to drive by so they can get behind me and whoo whoo pull over your tags is bad or some stupid jump you know, some petty job, petty cop job. Not real police work, basically. Corrupted police work. If I ain't had this camera, when, when I went to where all those cop cars was right there, they probably would have all turned on their lights at the same damn time. I'm not even kidding either. I know y'all think I'm playing, but y'all know how bad it was out here. It was like three or four of them just sitting here congregating, just sitting up at a gas station every day like they're bad. Just tracking people, tagging people, waiting for people, picking on people, drinking coffee, all this crap. And leaving people want to get mad and say, oh, you can't go. I say, well, I see they ain't up here acting tough no more. If I can't do what I'm supposed to be doing, I don't see them up here no more. And it ain't me bragging. It's just saying, stop telling me what the hell I can and can't do if I can. I ain't got no problem if I really don't. If I'm really not supposed to be doing something, y'all, I ain't got no damn problem following along. But when I'm following the law and then somebody goes out of their way to mess with me, I mean, come on. Who can't understand that? A dumbass, zombie, sheepified. I watch TV every day. I have to watch TV every day because I can't research. I don't know how to read type of person. That's who would look at something like that and then get upset. Because they're so ignorant and they want their government to take care of them like a the little child that they are. They expect that I'm supposed to be the same damn way and they're like 50 all these years older than me so you're telling me stuff that's not true so you're telling their children stuff that's not true making them, their children 10 times as dumb as they are and then what, what i was saying in all my videos is it's funny because they're not even real americans and they actually act like they have a right to get offended when somebody tells their dumb asses the truth and that's life and that's why i don't have any friends but you guys who understand it <laughs> You don't need no friends, because I mean, you can come in this world alone, you leave in this world alone. So who gives, who gives a damn what they think? But let me show y'all this book, right? I got it at the Goodwill the other day, where I like to shop for my clothes, because they got way better clothes than Walmart for way better prices. And um, look at that, the conspiracy reader. Now I wasn't gonna get it, but then I saw um, all of this stuff right here. And uh, if y'all can see it. From the death of JFK, I wasn't gonna get it at first, and then I read all that right there from the, the death of JFK and John Lennon uh, to the government sp sponsored A L I E N cover ups. And 
I haven't cracked it yet. I just got it the other day, but I read through it a little bit and it's it's got some stuff that you know Cooper talked about and stuff like that. So I was like, wow. I really been looking for uh Behold a Pale Horse, but I highly doubt I'm ever gonna find that. But if you wanna go back and pause this or I got this junk mad cheap. It used to be eight. It's uh, supposed to be, I guess, uh, eighteen. Yeah, I got it. For, I think, I think you get books there for like what a dollar or something like that. And since I just talked about this alien sponsor thing, <sighs> here we go, guys. With this real quick before I end, because I'm about to go in here get some ice. I'm gonna go home and chill. I would love to talk to y'all all day. I, a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do this and just drive. Just, I think I'm gonna do this one day and drive all the way to Myrtle Beach. Just drive all the way down there doing that jump. And, um, so, oh, yeah. Last thing I want to talk about real quick before I go. All you, I'm not even going to be, I'm not even going to be crazy about this. All you who, I, I, I'm going to make this the most simple as I, I usually go crazy about this, but I'm not. Because it's going to be, I'm just going to make this real simple and I'm going to leave. All of you who are still such so fascinated with all these uh, news UFO stories and things that you're uh, seeing and hearing and, you know, you're trying to pass it on to this channel and tell me, you know, I see the real ones and I saw this when I was a kid and I saw that when I was, you know, you know, you, I have to believe what you saw, you know. There is a playlist on this channel called Who Can Prove Aliens Exist? And it's called The Alien Agenda. It's got over a, it's got over a hundred and I think thirty five maybe forty videos of everything that Cooper exposed about that subject. If you haven't watched those videos, I please don't talk to me about none of that stupid stuff because I don't have no more time to be. That's done and over with. That's like the oldest thing we one of the first things and oldest things in the my takes and everything that we done covered. Please do not tell me about that stupid crap no more. Okay. That's what you want to believe? That's fine. Don't come here with these mainstream media stories about all these you. Oh, shoot. I left my damn laptop. Oh, it's in his van. Woo, I thought I left it at the hotel. Um, we, we don't want to hear your child's little stories about that. We, we, we know about the whole thing. You don't. You're still coming here trying to tell us stuff that we've already discussed and broke down from the original person who was there. I don't want you telling me about some Navy people telling me what he saw on the damn... Uh, um, what is it on the, on the, what, what was that? You know, what I'm talking about the Navy pilot and so and so. I don't want to hear you telling me that. You know why? Because that same story that he told you what he saw, I have two videos, two different versions of Cooper telling you the same exact story. So stuff like that surprises people like you, but it doesn't surprise people on his channel because we've looked into more stuff than you have. So <laughs> That's nothing new. That's not, that's not even, it, it doesn't even amaze me. What amazes me is Cooper said the same story over 20, however many years ago. And now that they put it on mainstream media and he was in the Navy as a lookout. And now that they put it on mainstream media, claim that it's from a Navy pilot. You're on a Cooper channel, subscribe to a Cooper channel and you'll still believe it. Again, y'all get what I'm saying about no common sense. Don't make no sense of things that people do. Don't make no damn sense. Tell the same story. Matter of fact, I uh, posted it. I posted like three. I, I think I uh, I have a whole channel on it, and I told him about that too. Um. So I don't get why you keep telling me these these things about these things that people on, especially MSM, are telling you. I don't react to stuff like you, like you react. You're that, that that's that childish stuff you still react. To. Oh my God! Yes, ET's. Fi I'm finally gonna meet my imaginary friend. I told you they were real. Everybody said I was crazy, but <laughs> oh, oh Lord! I just need to be with you. I gotta go. Or whatever happens out there, just let me know. People drive your ass crazy. Stupid people will drive you crazy, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. Can't take it no more. I told my, uh, I told my friend the other day. I said, when you ain't as stupid as everybody else around you, and you say stuff, they want to look at you like you're stupid. But I gotta go though. I'm gonna get this ice. I'm gonna go chill. But this is basically what I do with the Facebook, uh, um, lives all the time when I'm driving around the town. And but I, uh, I'm picking subjects this time. So 
when I drive around, I'll be picking subjects, not just the police. It'll be uh, stuff that we talk about, and then I'll just drive around and talk about it and just show you how ridiculous it is and how ridiculous it looks and how ridiculous it sounds. Even though you already know, but I want to show people who uh, call themselves Americans exactly how they look <laughs> right now. Still, still being told what to do, y'all. Still believing silly junk. Yeah, that's, that's not sanitary for you to grab the lids, but I can sit here and eat chips with my face mask all the way down and then ring you up without washing my hands with no gloves. <laughs> but it's unsanitary if I touch a lid. <laughs> uh, this is the new me, y'all. I'm on 100% go. Like I said, people do social media stuff for silly junk. I'm doing it for this reason and everybody going to either know about me or I'm going to be gone forever which if this don't change i'd rather that option not me taking me out but one of them taking me out like this guy just shut up and then i'll be like yes thank you take me away from your ass i'm sorry y'all but i don't know if y'all feel that same way but it will be better than surrounded by a bunch of stupid people who just believe whatever comes on tv same same TV that plays their Hollywood movies, plays their Hollywood news, and is basically ran by the same Hollywood scum, and they still believe it. Still believe it. Need somebody to tell him what to think when he get up. Today, you have to think this. Tomorrow, we'll tell you something else. I love y'all to death, and I really wish I could say and talk to y'all, but if I do that, this is going to go another eight hours. But it's a new me. Don't care who gets mad. Whatever, whatever, whatever they say, I'm going doing more of it. It's going to not stop. And we have our own show. F them. I mean, forget them.